May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. April 11, 2024 Memorial of St. Stanislaus, Bishop and Martyr A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. He who comes from above is above everything. He who is from below is of the earth, and he speaks about the earth. He who comes from heaven is above everything. And what he has seen and heard, about this he testifies. And no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified that God is truthful. For he whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God does not give the Spirit by measure. The Father loves the Son, and he has given everything into his hand. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever is unbelieving toward the Son shall not see life, instead the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection What would our relationships look like if we approached love as a gift of ourselves, giving everything without reservation or expectation? The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. John 3 verse 35 It's interesting to note that the words of today's Gospel appear to be from St. John the Baptist, since they come within the context of his testimony to Jesus. Some commentators, however, suggest that they are words that were actually spoken by Jesus, and that the evangelist inserts them here, as a continuation of the testimony of the Baptist, attributing them to St. John. Regardless of who actually spoke these words, the line quoted above gives us much to reflect upon, in that it gives us insight into the very meaning and practice of true love. What is love? Is it a feeling? An emotion? A drive or a desire for something or someone? Of course, the secular understanding of love is much different than a divine understanding of love. Oftentimes, the secular view of love is more self-centered. To love someone or something is to want to possess that person or object. Love from a secular view focuses upon the attraction and desire. But true love from a divine perspective is very different. The line quoted above tells us two things. First, we are told that the Father loves the Son. But then, we are given a definition of that love. We are told that love in this case results in the Father giving everything over to the Son. When we consider the word everything in this passage, it is clear that this can only refer to the Father giving himself to the Son in totality. Within the life of the Father, everything means his very essence, his being, his personhood, his whole divine self. The Father does not say, I want, rather, the Father says, I give and the Son receives all that the Father is. Though this is deep and mystical language, it becomes very practical for our lives, when we understand that divine love is not about wanting, taking, desiring, feeling, etc. Divine love is about giving. It's about the giving of oneself to another. And it's not just about giving some of yourself away, it's about giving everything away. If the Father gave everything to the Son, does that mean that the Father has nothing left? Certainly not. The beautiful nature of divine love is that it is never-ending. The more one gives themselves away, the more they have. Thus, the gift of the life of the Father to the Son is infinite and eternal. The Father never ceases to give, and the Son never ceases to receive. And the more the Father gives himself to the Son, the more the Father becomes the essence of love itself. 
the same is true in our lives. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that love should only go so far. But if we are to strive to imitate and participate in the love the Father has for the Son, then we must also understand that love is about giving, not receiving, and that the giving must be a gift of everything, holding nothing back. We must give ourselves away to others without counting the cost, and without exception. Reflect today upon your view of love. Look at it from a practical perspective as you think about the people whom you are especially called to love with a divine love. Do you understand your duty to give yourself to them completely? Do you realize that giving yourself away will not result in the loss of your life, but in the fulfillment of it? Ponder the divine love that the Father has for the Son and make the radical and holy choice today to strive to imitate and participate in that same love. Let us pray. My loving Lord, the Father has given all to you, and you in turn have given all to the Father. The love you share is infinite and eternal, overflowing into the lives of all your creatures. Draw me into that divine love, dear Lord, and help me to imitate and share in your love. By fully giving my life to others. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.